This is shuttle launch control. T minus three hours in holding. Final inspection team is on the uh, mobile launcher platform, continuing their inspections of the vehicle. The team has about eight members representing NASA and the contractors, and uh, Greg Katnick of the KS of Kennedy Space Center is leading the team. The team carries a variety of instruments. One is a portable infrared scanner to measure temperatures on the cryogenic surfaces of the tank, engines, and orbiter. They also measure temperatures of the solid rocket booster cases and segment joints. This is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours in holding. We are standing by to get live coverage of the flight crew as they're sitting down to have their pre-flight meal at their crew quarters in the operations and checkout building. The building is located at KSC's industrial area. This is the location for uh, the crew, and here we have the crew uh, sitting down at the traditional uh, table, with the uh, decorated cake bearing their STS-72 insignia. We have mission specialist Koichi Wakata flying for the first time aboard the shuttle. Koichi is an astronaut from NASDA, uh, born in Japan. And Dr. Daniel Berry, flying for the first time aboard the shuttle this morning. Berry will be one of the EVA specialists. And pilot Brent Jett, also flying aboard the shuttle the first time. He'll be uh, monitoring, using the RMS for the uh, flight crew while they're performing EVAs. Here we have Commander Brian Duffy flying for the third time aboard the shuttle today. Uh, Duffy, the most experienced in the uh, shuttle for the whole crew. Mission Specialist Leroy Chow, he's making his second flight today aboard the shuttle. He will be involved in two of the spacewalks. And uh, serving as flight engineer, Winston Scott, uh, flying for the first time aboard the shuttle today. Again, the crew's been awake since about 7 p.m., and uh, they're getting uh, right on their schedule that they'll be following during the nine-day mission for mission STS-72. The solid rocket booster retrieval ships departed the hangar AF on Cape Canaveral Air Station yesterday, and uh, they are on station out at the Atlantic Ocean, about uh, 140 miles uh, due east of KSC. They will be uh, retrieving the solid rocket boosters uh, following their uh, splashdown into the ocean. And they will be towed back to the hangar for refurbishment. This is the uh, booster casings are uh, disassembled and refurbished uh, at the Thiokol manufacturing plant in Utah and also here at KSC at the USBI facility here at the uh, Complex 39 area. There are no problems in our countdown. Uh, countdown is proceeding on schedule. And uh, per the timeline, T minus two hours, 57 minutes and counting. This is shuttle launch control. Here we have the astronauts for mission STS-72 coming out of their crew quarters at the uh, operations and checkout building. They'll be uh, getting into an elevator where they'll ride down to the first floor. Am I out? Crew of six, again, has been training uh, for the better part of the year. they are uh, spent most of their time uh, training for this particular flight. Some uh, employees wishing them well. Astronaut Bob Cabana is in the blue flight suit. Uh, he'll be flying weather reconnaissance in the KSC area and making a report back to uh, the management. Down on the ground, uh, got a big crowd of uh, press, including uh, quite a large crowd of uh, Japanese uh, news media who made the trip over to see Koichi Wakata as uh, he prepares for his first flight. Crews getting ready for their nine-day mission to retrieve uh, two satellites and uh, conduct two spacewalks and conduct a variety of experiments on the mid-deck.
We have the team led by Commander Brian Duffy. External tank is now being pressurized for flight. The gaseous oxygen vent hood at the very top of the tank will be moved away, retracted back to the launch position in the next few seconds. Clear caution and warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. That's all right. OTC, caution and warning is clear, no unexpected errors. Copy. Endeavor OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 smoke flow, have a smooth ride and a safe landing. All right, thanks OTC, and let's get 96 off to a great start. GLS is go for ET LH2 pressurization. The six member crew is about to embark on the first day of the planned nine day flight. The crew will retrieve the Japanese Space Flyer Unit, deploy and retrieve NASA's OST Free Flyer satellite and conduct two six-hour spacewalks. All systems aboard Endeavour are go. One minute, 30 seconds. T-minus 90 seconds. Endeavour will be launched on an easterly trajectory on an orbit inclined 28.45 degrees to the equator. Endeavour's launch marks the 74th shuttle launch in the history of the program. T-minus one minute. At the T-minus 31 second point, Endeavour's onboard computers will have control of vehicle functions. Auto sequence start. In the next few seconds, 25. thousands of gallons of water will be dumped onto the launch platform to help suppress the sound and shock of the 7 million pounds of thrust produced by the shuttle. T minus 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavour in pursuit of a Japanese satellite. Houston now controlling. Roll program, Houston. Roger roll, Endeavour. The roll maneuver is uh, complete aboard the orbiter Endeavour. The orbiter is now in a heads down position on course for a 28 and a half degree, 250 nautical mile orbit in pursuit of the space flyer unit for rendezvous and capture on Saturday morning. Endeavour's engines have now throttled down as the orbiter prepares to pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. throttling back up. Endeavour Houston, go with throttling. Roger, right go with throttling. Endeavour's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle. The orbiter is now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center of 10 nautical miles. The orbiter is traveling 2,600 feet per second or about 1,700 miles per hour. The altitude is passing through 90,000 feet. The three hydraulic systems are in excellent shape, as are the fuel cells 
The main engines are still performing at full throttle. Approaching two minutes into the flight, standing by for burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. SRB separation is confirmed. Time two minutes and 20 seconds into the flight. Ever performance nominal. Roger nominal. Performance thus far in the uh, launch phase has been as expected. Endeavour is now at an altitude of 210,000 feet. Downrange from the launch site, 45 nautical miles. Now traveling 5,000 feet per second or about 3,400 miles per hour. Okay, we're there. A7, B7? A7, B7, and uh, I would say five down to start. Okay. Let me take a look at that. Actually, it's not dropping at all yet, okay, so I'm, well. I'm going to start doing some braking. Okay. Coming up on A7, B8, 300. 2, 3, 1, 1. That's real good. That's real good. No correlation. Six sixty minus point seven. What's that X button? Let's see. Just so I don't lose it. Zero minus. Okay. Just so I don't. I don't want to let a rate build up on that. Okay. I'll keep it moving. Okay. 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 Okay.
outstanding job endeavor. Endeavor, the Delta did launch. Thanks, Troy. Guess we're just coming by LA and Phoenix now. There were no need to reply. Beta Mass Zero only is on board.
clockwise uh, your maneuver started. Clockwise, uh, your period maneuver has stopped. Counterclockwise period maneuver started. Thank you. And counterclockwise, a period maneuver stopped. And Endeavour, we're on board the mid-deck. Thank you. Endeavour Houston, one minute till a Tedris handover, and I have the SFU thermal bailout attitude when you're ready to copy. Go ahead. 
ahead with the uh, attitude. Target four, body vector five, pitch one four, yaw zero, Omicron two seven zero. Target four, body vector five, pitch zero one four, yaw zero, Omicron two seven zero. Good copy, and I've got an adjustment to that after the handover. Endeavor Houston for EV. Leroy, we see you coming out. Like nice 90 seconds to the Looks ZOE. Beautiful. Okay, coming out, Winston. Endeavor will get you back at 2009. Ten minutes of Radicom off the tail when we come back. I'll give you some slack here, Leroy. Okay. How am I doing, Dan? You're doing fine. I'm just coming out. Endeavor, one minute to the ZOE, get you back at 2009, 10 minutes of calm off the tail when we come back on the west. Yeah, I'll do that as soon as Dan's clear. And in just a second, I'm going to get my tethers set properly. Never Houston for Dan, you're over Australia. Well, thanks, Tom. It's an incredible fight. I'm envious. Remember, the, uh, the pin is inverted to your point of view, right? I know, Dan. I'm, 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 in, I'm voted. I'm just seeing the roll being like 180 degrees off. It looks good. Don't worry. Okay. What's it's supposed to be. Okay, about three more inches, you'll be dead center. Three more inches forward. Another inch. Hey, you're dead center. You just come straight in in defector mode. I did this over on. Oh. No. Hey, you're about four inches. Hey, I can put it in from here if you want to roll it around. Okay, uh, Dan, we're in. The roll's exactly where it's supposed to be. I'm going to go, when you give me a go, I'm going to go for capture. But, Brent, I'm showing the, the, um... And the camera's right where it's supposed to be. I'm showing the, um... The, the parts of the, um... End effector that go into the, uh... That go into the, um... Outside pieces, the three pieces each at 120 degrees each other. Yeah. I'm showing that off by 180 degrees. Okay, we have a great view, Brian. Thanks. Endeavor, Brent, uh, PDRS is looking at this. Just one moment. Hey, we're standing by. Hey, let me know when we're go for uh, capture. You go for capture. 
I saw a good capture. I saw the snares grow it nicely. Okay, uh, I got good capture, Dan. Let me know when you go for rigid. You go for rigid. Here comes rigid. I'm waiting. I see it rigidizing. We got rigid. Great, fantastic. Good job, guys. Okay, now, uh, Brent, if you could uh, come uh, straight toward me a little bit. Stand by, Dan. I'm waiting for the rigid talk back. Okay, I'm sorry. And, um... Okay. Winston, if you could tell me again, um... Uh, where to hook the tether to, um... Which end of the end effector to hook the tether to? Okay, Dan, you're going to hook the, uh... Hook that to the uh, yellow end of the end effector. Okay. Okay, Dan, move it down towards you. Okay, uh, stand by just one second, but I have to... Because, because of the reconfig, I have to move Leroy's tether from uh, where it was to uh, the other side. So stand by. Alright, we need to remember to rotate it back for storage. Okay, you're looking good. Both feet are, uh, your right foot is almost there. Right foot's in the, in the loop. You need your heel to move. There you go, your left in. Your right, your right isn't quite in. There, now your right's in. What a sunrise, look at that. But you know what, Leroy? Your right is above the, uh, you know how that angle is? Okay, let me try again, how's that? Now you're in properly and your right, and your left is in beautifully. Right. Okay, you're looking good from in here, Leroy. Dan, okay. verify again that you uh, temporarily attached uh, Leroy's slide while safety to the lunge run. Uh, negative, uh, Winston. I'm going to do that after I hook him up so I don't have to go back and forth twice. Okay, and I can see you out of the window now. <laughs> okay, that works super. Okay, access and operate the PFRWS picture controls. Hey, and Winston, I'm heading over to the, um, RU. Okay, Dan. Okay, pitch control works. And I might make a pass by those windows. From my right. We're watching. Okay, Winston, pitch control works fine. Okay, Leroy, you want to access and operate the PFR that you tool head spindle. Tool head spindle works fine. Looks good. Nice and uh, smooth action. Okay, access and operate the yaw control to position the PFRWS around the ATFR. Okay, and uh, that works fine. Uh, general comment on the workstation station. The, <clears throat> the handles are a little low. They're fine for me, but someone tall taller would, uh, might be a bit of a stretch. I've had that problem in the wet up, so we'll see what happens. Well, Lee, I guess that's mostly office, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay. Overall, the PWP is uh, pretty user-friendly. Great. Dan, look at the look at the earth there. Wait, Chan. Watch the thermal cube. Yeah, I know I'm underneath it. What were you saying? Take a look over the sill if you can. Oh my goodness. That looks good. Yep. They're coming back in plane. Oh, I've got it. Came off real easy. Hold on, I got it. Hold on, I got it. Okay, I got it. Okay, it's entirely yours now. I got it. Okay. Okay, Brent, come on up out of the bay. Endeavor Houston on air to ground two for the flight deck. Hey, Leroy, moving up and out of the bay. Well, we will. I don't think that'll be a big problem. So I'm going to go uh, to the other end and continue. Endeavour Houston on the west. I've got some fast actions for the flight deck. Brent, you're coming down. Well, you know what? I'm going to see if we latch uh, alignment mark. Unless you all can see that from the window. For the flight deck, we'd like the supply water dump using FES on 5 9 er using FES B. Okay. Coming down. 
Okay, keep going, keep going. You're almost there. You're at it. You're at the latch. Okay, it's latched. Okay, you can see how badly the uh, yeah, cables are bound up. Cables are bound up, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to take a picture of that for the ground. Okay, keep going. Do a couple other axes for you there. Yeah, go ahead. Starting. Stopping. Starting. Stopping. Jeez, you're on top. Endeavor Houston, no action on the uh, PDRS slip. That's due to the ingress uh, from Dan. Okay, we copy. Thanks, Tom. I see you've got the uh, PDAP there. You can install the PDAP on the starboard bay four latch plate. There we go. And your next step is to unlock the PA line clamp. Okay, and let's see. And then that's, that's in work. Then in, and there's primary jet firings coming up for both y'all. Okay. We're hanging on. Let us know when uh, they're going to stop. Just a couple minutes and uh, they'll be done. And Winston, then install and remove an avionics uh, line from that TA line clamp. Okay, and that will be in work after the, uh, the burn. Then this configuration of the APFR, and I'm going to do three clockwise on the z bolt. One, two, three. Endeavor, okay, Houston, we're two minutes from the ZOE. We'll get you back in approximately seven minutes for the flight deck. Your go for the SM checkpoint at the end of 14-7 cabin repress. And for IV and EV, the plan right now is for Leroy to proceed as planned on the timeline. For EV3, we're going to give you some easy tasks following your utility box so you both meet up at PWP setup. That's the plan for now. Copy. Okay, we copy that, Tom, uh, and uh, we'll just stand by to hear which easy task you want him to, to do. Okay, uh, perform the following from the task plate. The first steps are going to be a quick grab, which is three times both hands to space. Three times both hands to space. Here we go. One. Two. And three. Three okay. times left hand to space. One. Two. And three. Okay, layback maneuver. Three times single layback, no hands. Max. Okay, that's one.
a minute and a half to a tinder's handover. The first seven minutes on east will be in blockage. You have the cameras. Okay, sir, we copy that. Endeavor, we can take the cameras again. Okay, sir, they're all yours. Thank you. Hey. Well, my BRT is going to go back here anyway. Thanks. That's an intermittent leak, and it's uh, understood. We might have to do that again during the flight. Also, we're coming up on a handover with Tidris in two minutes. It's an extended handover, and we'll get you back at 19.38. Endeavor Houston, the flight director wants to know who Buzz Lightyear is down there. Fred, do you remember where that grilled chicken was in its locker? I'll get it. Sure, I'll go in the oven. It's in, it's in his stash. Yeah, he's got it's it's his stash. It's stash. It's back here. <laughs> I'll get it on the swap out, Brian, whenever you're ready to I'm sorry. You'll never find it. I'll yeah, get I'm it. Ready. You ready? Okay. <laughs> swap. You'll never know. You'll never find it. I'll get it. Oh, man. You'll never know. <laughs> My heart's going, hey! <laughs>
inside Houston. Roger, Brian. Again, you have a six knot tailwind. Roger. You're down and locked. Commander Brian Duffy uh, now pulling the nose of the orbiter up in the pre-flare maneuver, altitude 700 feet. Pilot Brent Jett uh, preparing to put the uh, landing gear down. And the landing gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. And nose gear touchdown. Endeavor rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, completing Endeavor's 10th mission in space, the 74th mission in the shuttle program, completing 142 orbits of the Earth, traveling 3.7 million miles. Stop, Houston. Roger, Endeavor. Copy, will stop. Welcome back, guys. Stop, you did a great job of getting us started in 1996. Stand by for any post-landing deltas. Roger. Roger. 